What is up all you Keyblade wielders and welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Last episode we just got in, we got swallowed by Monstro pretty much and we saw Pinocchio running off with what looked like some sort of gummy piece possibly. Um, and found out that, you know, Goofy and Donald already know who, uh, who Pinocchio is, so it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it's safe to be swimming in stomach acids. I don't recommend it for real life. If that's what you guys like to do, though, I guess be you, man. Just take, just, just own it. Just own swimming in stomach acids. Like, I don't suggest it. I feel like it could be dangerous, but, you know, it happens, I guess, when you get swallowed by giant whales, uh... I mean, Pinocchio, this uh, this probably not Pinocchio's first time being swallowed by uh, a giant whale. Just going to say that, because uh, clearly they already knew what Monstro was. They said, oh my gosh, it's Monstro, the giant whale of whales, or whatever. So, they already knew. What have you got there, Pinocchio? With this, we can get out of here, Father. Really? With this big block? You think so? It's true. So, how did she end up here, Pinocchio? Oh my, so the whale swallowed all of you too? My goodness! Yeah, looks like it. My name is Geppetto. I'm Pinocchio's father. When we got separated, I traveled all over looking for him. Thank goodness we're together again. So, you seem to know Pinocchio quite well. I hope he was a good boy in my absence. Well, we've all had quite a journey, right, Pinocchio? Pinocchio! So, as we saw there, Riku just ran off into a... Like, the esophagus of this uh of this whale um and pinocchio just chased after him so we're gonna have to figure that out i've warned him not to wander off here he can be a naughty boy even so he's very precious to me i mean if i had a talking piece of wood it would be pretty precious to me too <laughs> i don't even know guys hey mags my dog's barking. Maggie, stop it. No, get out. Get out. I'm recording, Mags. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Oh, uh, man. This this episode, it might end up being cut into, like, uh, right, like my recording for today and my recording for tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, let's just keep going. I, that's just what that was. I was just getting a heads up. A heads up. All right. So... And I think that's why Maggie was barking. I think people are going to be here shortly in order to repair some stuff. So I might end up having to do this in two takes, which is not a big deal for you guys because it will seem like one still. I'm just trying to figure out how to get that chest up there. I am completely clueless as to how that chest is obtained. I could... Maybe we need to play first to get those because... Oh, that's... I just spoiled something huge. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I just spoiled a huge part of the game for you. Maybe I'll bleep that out. Bleep! It'll just seem like I sweared right there, guys. And you guys will be really concerned. You'll be like, true, just swear! Dun, dun, dun. I think I've sweared in videos before, though. So, alright, so we're gonna chase uh, Pinocchio, because I don't think we can get those chests just yet, unfortunately. Oh. What are you doing? Come on, let's go back. You know, Geppetto's awfully worried about you. Pinocchio, stop fooling around. This is no time for games. But Sora, I thought you liked games. Or are you too cool to play them now that you have the Keyblade? Riku? W what are you doing here? Just playing with Pinocchio. You know what I mean. What about Kairi? Did you find her? Maybe. Catch us, and maybe I'll tell you what I know. Come on! So we finally find Riku, and he's just a jerk who, like, doesn't even care. Freaking heartless Riku, man. I just want to know where my Kairi Bay is. 
Kyra Bay, I'm a coming. Dad is coming. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we leveled up. We got the max MP. By the way, guys, I'm trying out another new webcam position. I'm also going to try and make the webcam smaller so it doesn't take up quite as much space on the screen. But let me know what you like, how you think about the new position. I've been, you know, obviously messing around with it, trying to figure out what works best and all those things. Um, one thing about Monstro, guys, is that it's a giant maze. Uh, it's like, it's seriously, that's why, like, nobody seems to like Monstro in Kingdom Hearts 1. It's because it's a big maze. Like, there's all these different chamber rooms, and they all look the same, and, like, their doorways are, like, all the same. And it's just really confusing. Uh, but we're, like, finally starting to put in tons of work against things. Uh, it looks like, okay, here we go. Here's a ghost. So these things will, like, disappear, um, and you won't be able to hit them. And I'm pretty sure that pod is evil because it keeps wanting me to lock onto it. We haven't seen uh, a shadow in a while like that. I don't know if you can see it behind me. Oh, you can't. But uh, next to the, the Fennekin, this World War II helmet, the Fennekin, the Froki, is the shadow plushie uh, that I got a while ago. Come on. Let me open. There we go. We got a Mega Ether. So it looks like there's not anywhere that we can go just yet. So we got to actually backtrack here. Oh, my goodness. It's like the game knew we were going to have to backtrack, which it obviously does because it's a game, so it's already programmed to be a certain way. Oh my gosh, we dodged that. Come on, Biggie. Biggie? Biggie Smalls, I guess? Biggie Smalls. Let's go, Biggie Smalls. <laughs> Big fatty. There we go. Okay. We'll head back through. We're going We're going to go to Chamber 2 instead, so we went through... We're not, we're not fighting these guys. Come on, guys. Let's go to chamber two instead. It makes sense. From one, you go to two instead of one to three. You know, this brought us to the same place, didn't it? No, actually, it's different. It just looks the same. Like I said, Monstro is just, it looks all the same. There's no telling where you are. Like, I saw that boarded up wall, and I was like, oh, it looks just like the last boarded up wall. And uh, we actually got the three wishes keyblade um, last, uh, last episode. And we might want to switch that on at some point. I don't know, though. Is there going to be a big fatty at the entrance of every single place here? Block it. Block it, Goofy. Block it, Goofy. Good job, Goofy. That's why you got that shield, right? He, we can't attack him until he comes out of there, though. I guess you could use magic. Good job, Donald. Proud of you, bro. I want to get this chest, so we have to kill everything in here in order to get it. There we go. Come on. Oh, another one. Jeez, these guys are everywhere. It's like... I guess McDonald's are everywhere too, so that might be why. Oh, thank you, Goofy. That would have hit us and hit hard. Jeez. Okay. We got ourselves a cottage. Not bad. Can we use this crate to go somewhere? We should be able to push it. I thought. No, okay. So our only bet, unless we can jump up here. No, we can't. Okay. So this will bring us to chamber three, but it should bring us on top of one of those things we couldn't get on before, one of those ledges with the evil pots. No, these aren't evil pots. It's not Aladdin. No? Okay. I'm pretty sure these barrels can be evil, though. Like, I'm, <laughs> like that sounds ridiculous, I know, but I'm pretty confident. Because that's just, you know, that's just the Kingdom Hearts life right there. Evil pots. Can't, I can't stand having the battle guys who are in the doorways. Then you, uh, the, then you end up going through the doorway yourself, and then it's just a big mess. All right, so from here, we should be able to just go through chamber two, which should bring us on top of one of the chamber walls again. There we go. See what I mean, though, by it being a huge maze? It just, ugh, can't even, can't even see. It. Oh, there's, oh, no, and I fell. There's the evil pottery. Ah, and they explode too. I forgot about that. Oh, jeez. You know what? Those kind of rem those remind me of pirate things. And one thing I want to say, guys, or uh, I want to know your opinion on. I guess this would be the question of the day, uh, <laughs> because uh, I don't have any questions from you guys because it's been a while since I've actually asked you guys for questions because I haven't recorded this in too long. Um, is what? Uh, what games are you most excited for in the near future um, for like 2015, like Christmas time or 2016 even that were announced uh, at either E3 or whenever uh, you saw like your, what, what game are you most excited for that's upcoming pretty much? For me, a game that I think is going to be huge that uh, 
that like I don't I I think it's like underrated right now like the the hype for it I feel like it's not uh, it's it's underrated um, is I want that chest is this game called Sea of Thieves and I think it has the potential to be like really like a really big game like uh like what you call it there like Minecraft like Minecraft big like maybe maybe not as big as Minecraft but. I have a feeling that it's going to be a really big game, really popular. It's very uh, Minecraft-esque in the sense of, well, I guess it's not Minecraft-esque because Minecraft is like blocks and stuff, but it's cartoony style graphics, and I really kind of like that about it, and it's a pirate game. It's like, an, it's like a multiplayer game where you're pirates, and it's like an open, I believe it's going to be an open world in like all this stuff, so it looks really cool and it looks totally like my style of game that I would love to let's play and just do stuff with if I could get some friends who who pick it up too we could have like a pirate crew and you, you can like have a pirate ship sail the open seas attack other pirate crews uh, mo like other people online I think they haven't released too much information on it yet but it's being made by rare the people who made banjo kazooie which like I love banjo kazooie so that's that's pretty exciting right there that Rare's, Rare's finally making a comeback onto the gaming scene. I feel like they, they haven't really come out with anything too big in a long time, and I feel like this game is going to be it for them, you know? It's their next big game. They're coming out with, or actually, they already have it out now. It's like a it's like a HD remastered collection of all their Rare games over the years. It came out on Xbox recently, and uh, which is pretty cool because I think I might pick it up sometime and do... You know, like a let's play of, of Banjo Kazooie for you guys, because I know a lot of you are younger and you might not have ever played Banjo Kazooie, which is a damn shame because Banjo Kazooie is like a great game, absolutely great game. I wish these ghosties would go away. There we go. Okay. I feel like we haven't even been touched this entire level. I'm like on fire today. Oh, seriously? Why did I expect anything less? There we go. Just pop them really quick. Pop them with some fire. So chamber six. We gotta remember that we are in chamber six. I think chamber six is the most confusing chamber. Um for sure it has the most entry points to it. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think I think there's gonna be yeah, bad guys right here. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure this chest is always guarded by bad guys. I seem to recall that for some reason. Alright, here we go. Yet, yeah, there we go. More Dalmatian puppies. Man, we are we have probably not missed a single box of Dalmatians, I feel like. Oh, uh, where's this go? That's chamber five. Good to know. We might we might want to come back to it. I was gonna say some of these pots have gotta be bad. There's so many of them. And this is chamber five as well, okay. Seems like there's a lot of ways to get to Chamber 5. Gosh, we might have to look up like a guide for this one. Just like, like I said, this is a huge maze. This is like, everybody gets lost in Monstro, I think. So, this might be one of those, those guide moments where we need to look it up. It would be amazing if we do it on our own first try without like struggling too much. But like, I feel like we even struggled in Aladdin's, uh, the, the Cave of Wonders or whatever it's called. I feel like we even struggled there to find our way. So if we find it our first time in Monstro, I will be impressed with us. But uh, down there, there's some more stuff. Is that Trinity? It's a white Trinity. I don't know if we have white Trinity unlocked. But we could jump down there, but I feel like that's not what we're supposed to do. Oh, well, let's do it. Let's do it. I feel like maybe we should do it. I don't know. Let's kill these guys to see if we have white Trinity unlocked yet. I don't think we do. Uh, I don't think we have White Trinity unlocked yet. By the way, guys, if you have any questions of the day you would like me to, to ask in a future video and get yourself shouted out, go ahead and leave those down below. And I'll, uh, if I like your question and I feel like it fits the game, it fits you know what we're looking for in questions, I'll definitely shout you out down below with the little pop-up that says your question and stuff. Uh, because it's always nice to get your input and then you guys can ask me, you know, I'll try and answer my, your question the best of my ability. So it's like a nice little back and forth thing that we like to do on this series. Chamber 3, where's this going to go? We've been in Chamber No, 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 no. Oh, God. Okay, this is why magic is pretty important. Uh, is because you don't want to fall. 
That's pretty much where it... There we go. There we go. Oh, are you serious right now? Boom. There we go. Yeah, because I don't want to fall off of this and have to go through everything again. Ooh, a bright gem. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so this was pretty much just in order to get some of that stuff. So we're going to end up having to do this whole thing again unless we can get back up, which I don't think we can. We might be able to right here. Oh, no. Goofy, give me the boost. Give me the boost, Goofy. Give me dust boost. All right, so it looks like we're going to have to backtrack. That stinks. Unless we can get up here. No. Yeah, we're going to have to backtrack, guys. Oh, that's such a pain in the butt. This is what I mean. Uh, you can go the wrong way and have to go all the way back through everything. Unless... Ah, nope. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to have to backtrack. I'll just skip all the fights, though, in order to get back to where we were. And I'll only fight new enemies, so not really a big deal. Chamber 2. And then this brings us here. We can just run straight past all these guys. Goofy Donald, follow me, please. No need for you guys to be fighting useless enemies. Chamber 2 again. Oh my gosh, I think we just went in a circle, guys. Pretty sure we just went in a circle. Oh no, actually, we can go this way. Chamber 5. Here we go. We're getting a lot closer. A lot, 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 lot closer. Okay. And then through this should be six. Boom. We're almost, we're, I think we're back where we started. Yeah, we are. Okay. So now we can go down to this bottom one, which I think is probably our best bet. So back to chamber five. Yeah, look at this. It's like a little uh, treasure area. Only with one shadow here. Oh, no. It can't be that simple, right, guys? It can't be that simple. At least they're just shadows, though. My cat's probably like... Every time I play Kingdom Hearts, I always say that. My cat's probably like so confused. Why did you name me after these evil heartless things? I'm going to name an animal heartless someday. I feel like that's like a really bad name for an animal. Come here, heartless. Come here, heartless. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine that? I still haven't figured out if those green guys heal you or they steal your health from you. I haven't figured it out yet. I, haven't just, I just haven't paid attention. I feel like I should look that up. Like, I seriously wish that Kingdom Hearts had come with that booklet that it came with, like, originally, with the original games. Oh, my gosh, guys, wait. Oh, no, I left it. Oh. I was going to say, I think I have the booklet still, but I left it in New Hampshire. Oh, I was going to show that off, too. That would have been so cool, guys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's see what it does. They don't know they killed him. See ya. See ya. Yeah, but uh, I was going to say, I think I have the booklet still. It was in this big white cabinet thing that I have, but it was in my attic. And I like was going through it the other day before I moved so that I could make sure I don't leave anything behind. And I saw it, but I completely left it. I forgot it. Because that white thing was too big to bring with me. So I was like, I'll just leave it here in New Hampshire. And I should have snagged the booklet. It's a damn shame. I could have showed it off and we could have looked it up cottage we got a cottage not bad look at all this moony look at all this moony oh so much moony okay i wish i had that much moony in real life that's not even that much the conversion rates probably got awful okay so next we want to go i guess this was just a treasure room so i'm not even mad that we got in here to be honest we can just backtrack Go up to the other level 5, and I th that we should be above where this one was. Skip these guys. We fought them plenty enough. Oh, gosh. No, no, no. no. Okay, there we go. So now we can fight these guys. We should be above where we just were. Again, I don't want to fall off the edge, so I'm being really careful to just use magic up here. When I think that we might be a little too close to the edge. We've got to be really careful with these guys. They explode, so they might push us off the edge with their explosions. So that's something to be really weary of. That's Chamber 4. We haven't even seen a Chamber 4 yet. Okay, let's go back to using magic, because that was a close call right there. Boom. What? There we go. I'm surprised we've had that much magic. No, no, no. No, no. 
It's okay. I think we fell on the correct side. We did. Okay. We fell on the side that we would want to fall on if we were going to fall anywhere. So I'm okay with that. Yeah, because now all we have to do is back up and through. So that's, that's good. We fell on the correct side. I think the other side is the side we don't want to be on. We might be able to take this and throw it. Oh, Goofy, come on, man. I was going to say we might be able to jump right there, but now I think it's too far away, so I don't want to screw it up. We're just going to go to Chamber 4, because I'm pretty sure that's where we're supposed to go, because we haven't seen a Chamber 4 yet. Why do you still care about that boy? He has all but deserted you for the Keyblade and his new companions, after all. I don't care about him. I was just messing with him a little. Oh, really? Of course you were. Beware the darkness in your heart. The heartless prey upon it. Mind your own business. Riku! What's the matter with you? What are you thinking? Don't you realize what you're doing? I was about to ask you the same thing, Sora. You only seem interested in running around and showing off that Keyblade these days. Do you even want to save Kairi? I do. Ah! Uh-oh. Some trouble. I heard some trouble. Oops. I heard some trouble going on over there. But, uh... Kind of a shorter episode, I guess, guys. Uh, maybe not. We're around 20 minutes. But uh, that's actually going to be it for today's episode. If it wasn't for that, blame the save point. Because that save point's perfectly placed. So that next episode, we can fight the boss. So there's going to be a mo boss of Monstro um, coming up ahead soon. And uh, yeah, so guys, hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you go ahead and shield bash that like button down below for me. Because you guys know... I love the support on these series, so hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, though, stay frosty and peace out.